there! My name is Shanti Michael. I'm the music coordinator at St. Matthew's Catholic Parish. I'm here with Father Juan Pablo, one of our pastors here. <laughs> um, we, uh, we're here to talk about uh, another segment in our music ministry catechesis uh, a, about the Liturgy of the Hours. And we're doing this because the new hymnal that we have purchased for St. Matthew's is a very resourceful book. Um, and what it has, it, it, other than just the Sunday readings and hymns, is also um, the music and liturgy for the different rites of Mass, uh, sorry, the different rites of the Church. So today we're going to talk about the liturgy of the hours and Father Juan Pablo is going to um, expand on it for us. Yes, thank you Shanti for inviting me and this is a good opportunity as one community of St. Matthew growing in Christ. And not only do we grow in Christ in our service, in our catechesis, but also in the way we worship. And this hymnal is a way in which we can continue to grow in Christ. Thank you. Great. Thank you. So, uh, Father, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Liturgy of the Hours and how it has evolved in the Catholic Church? Yes. Um, we can trace back the origin or the source of this type of prayer. Um, to the Old Testament, um, especially when we read Exodus chapter 29, when God is, uh, tells Aaron, the priest, and his descendant to pray and offer sacrifice in the temple, he makes very clear details of how they are to slaughter a uh, bull or um, lambs, in the temple and offered them to to God as a sacrificial offering, but there there were times in in the history of the Israelites when they their temple was destroyed, and so they gather in synagogues to listen to the word of God, and also to pray with psalms and hymns, um, and that continued up to the time where Jesus, uh, where he also prayed with psalms and hymns. And the first disciples, all having this Jewish heritage, uh, not only do we, they continue to listen to the preaching of Christ through the apostles, but also they gather together and pray with his hymns and psalms. And by the way, Liturgy of the Hours is one of those titles that we have. Maybe you have heard that it is also called the Divine Office or the Breviary but they're all meant as an official prayer of the church to sanctify each hour of the day. Sanctify. Okay, thank you for that. Um, why is the liturgy of the hours so important to our Catholic prayer life? Well, this is important because, as I mentioned before, the sacrifice that we offer to God is no longer um, and a sacrificial offering of an animal, but it is a sacrificial of our whole life, of what we do throughout the day. And part of this, it, it involves prayer. You know? When you think about the word sacrifice, which means setting apart something, making it sacred, or putting, setting it apart for God, um, we offer a sacrifice of, pray, of prayer through our hymns, through the psalms that we pray, and also through the times that we set apart, we make sacred, to pray the liturgy of the hours. Um, it is also resourceful for our spiritual life because as we pray with the hymns and the psalms and canticles, we tap into the resource of our hearts, so that not only with our mind, but also with our hearts, our feelings, our emotions, can be expressed through them. And lastly, because from Sunday to Sunday when we go to Mass, we we are sustained through this prayer of the Church. You know? uh, every day, you know, there are different hours set apart for this Liturgy of the Hours, but mainly morning prayer and evening prayer, they really sustain us throughout the week so that we may come fully prepared for Mass on Sunday. Right. And we're not, we're not really the only religions who uh, incorporate uh, several prayer times um, of prayer during the day. 
-hmm. So uh, as I understand it, many, many religions do that. Um, and sure. the liturgy of the hours is for our Catholic faith on how we do it and sanctify the day. Mm -hmm. And as priests, it's mandatory for you to do yes. that. <laughs> yes. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, so why is music important in um, praying the liturgy of the, the hours um, historically and uh, for in today's contemporary life? Right. No, I think also music, if you think about it, it also found, you know, throughout cultures, throughout time, uh, as a source of prayer. You know? it, there's something about being able to pray with music and sing that allows us again to tap into other resources of our life. You know? Sometimes we're accustomed maybe to, to memorize prayers or recite prayers, you know, there's the book of prayers and we just repeat them either in a side or uh, we memorize them. But through the, through the music, uh, we are able to express sometimes deeply emotions that we have and that perhaps we don't have the words to express them, but music sure help us to do that. Yes. Okay. And lastly, how can we use our new hymnal to pray the liturgy of the hours? Well, in our, as you see, in our new hymnal, right after the table of content, we are going to find the two main hinges of this liturgy of the hours, which is the morning prayer and the evening prayer. Morning prayer has sort of this theme of offering praise to God, you know. It has a lot of reference to the sun, you know, as Jesus as the sun. And it really helps us to set our mind and our heart so that the first thing that we think about and the first thing that we ask God is to consecrate the whole day to God. And then the evening prayer to help us towards the end of our day, you know, to complete our day with God, offering what we done, what we have done, the work, um, our moments of joy or maybe sadness but everything within this prayer of the church and let me say that we don't just pray for ourselves right? as the official prayer of the church we pray for those who need it you know we pray for uh, the people who might be suffering on the other side of the world um, family members who are close by uh, who might be going through difficult times or sickness and we pray also, we, we praise Christ and God for those good moments of our day, you know. So all of that comes into this. And we hopefully, we, we can continue to use re this resource in our hymnal to help us prepare our weekdays praying these this psalms. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Father Juan Pablo. Uh, we just like to say that um, please see the links below. We have provided more information on um, how to pray the Liturgy of the Hours via the Universalis website. And there's more information um, about uh, the Liturgy of the Hours as well on the USCCB site. Um, stay tuned. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to Facebook for more videos like this. Um, and if anybody is interested, please stay tuned also um, in our weekly bulletins. We will be making ribbon bookmarks for our hymnal to um, help us pray on Sundays um, and tell the difference between the, the readings and the hymns. So thank you for joining us. See thank you again you. soon. See you.